What's up guys, this is Fetter from 3D Print SOS. Really excited about this video. I've been printing for the past four days nonstop on the Aquila 3D printer by Vox Lab and the Ender 3 behind me. I've been using the Yusu silk filaments from my previous video and a model by 3D Kit Bash that's just awesome. I wanna lay everything out and go over the project. I have a bunch of footage to show you guys that I've been taking during printing. So let's get it all laid out and let's head to the table. All right guys, so here it is laid out. I'll be sure to uh, show you guys close-ups of what I have here on the table while I'm talking to you. But man, look at this thing. This model by 3D Kit Bash is just awesome. This is an articulating mech that prints in several pieces and I went ahead and printed it in 300%, both the mech and the accessories. I printed all of the silver pieces on the Aquila and I printed all of the gold, or the bronze, excuse me, uh, silk pieces on the end under three, just so I can see kind of a comparison. These were printing large pieces. The Ender 3 was printing a whole bunch. I basically filled the plate with the pieces. Um, and both of them have been printing for, for three and four days, which has been really cool. The Aquila is just a beast of a printer, honestly. I've had zero curling. It, it prints uh, the layers in such a way where it's, it's hard to tell. I mean, uh, this is definitely one of the smoothest operating printers. And I was always skeptical about the single-sided cooling as I have on many of my other machines. But for some reason, I don't know if it's a combination of the duct, of the fan itself, this doesn't suffer from the same type of problems that my other printers have where the uncooled side um, had imperfections in it. This seems to be printing really, really well as is it just needs some leveling. That seems to be the biggest problem people have. Um, but basically, you know, this robot gets put together with these uh, patented uh, pegs, uh, clips, I guess, so to say. And the cool part about them is they go in in one direction, but they also, once they pop in, allow everything to spin. So on this uh, particular mech, the feet, uh, spin the arms, the head, and it has this cool backpack that holds all these really fun accessories. It's got things like these super awesome knives. Um, it's got these like laser pipes. It's got hooks, got cleats, got exhaust pipes. I, I couldn't make up my mind on which ones I was gonna put on there, so I printed a whole bunch of them. Um, so what I wanna do is I took a bunch of footage while both machines were running. So I wanna cut to uh, basically the reel of, of those things uh, printing to kind of show uh, the you know printing process on both machines. And while you guys see that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assemble this. So the next time you cut back to me, I should have this 300% mech by 3D Kit Bash in front of me in this beautiful filament. Really, I just wanna mention that the filament, this Aquila machine that's so impressive, and this, this awesome model all together, what a combo. All right, let's cut to the demo. <laughs>
look at this thing. 3D Kit Bash, awesome model. Putting it together was really fun. Popping all those pieces in and watching it all being assembled is so fun. Um, you guys did a great job on this model and I appreciate the fact that it's free uh, at the moment. I understand that it might not be always, but this is gonna make an awesome showpiece on my shelf uh, and a conversation starter for sure. I think one of the things that, that really lends itself to uh, well this model is just how metallic this filament looks. Um, it definitely looks like a brushed aluminum and this bronze just has this shine to it when it catches the light. It just has this awesome reflection. And you know, the model itself, this little backpack where you can um, attach uh, these attachments in any way that you want. Um, and you can swap them out. That, that's such a, just a clever little, clever little design. And uh, you know, just to note, uh, the, the Quilla 3D printer, multi-day, non-stop prints, absolutely flawless. If there's something negative I could say about the whole thing so far, it's really a nitpick at this point, is the way that these arms are oriented flat on the bed means the, the uh, means it's printed horizontally, the layer lines are horizontal. So when you go to put in um, any accessories into the arms, it tries to pull apart the layers. And I did get some delaminating on both arms in the same spot. So I think a good idea would be to print these in this orientation actually going upward. And I think that will completely solve that problem. So that might just be a uh, how you wanna print um, in you know, the orientation of these arms. Um, I think laying down um, isn't necessarily the, the most, the strongest way in, in, in this example. But everything else, you know, like I said, pushing these things in and popping the pieces together feels mechanical and fun. Um, the fact that it rotates like this is really cool. Like it's, um, it still holds its place really well. So whichever way you put it, it's gonna stay there. Um, so that's really nice. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, like I said, this is a really cool model. You guys should go check it out, 3dkitbash.com. Um, Yusu filaments with these awesome silk metallic filaments. And of course, the Quilla 3D printer. So cheap, so inexpensive. Unlike other inexpensive printers that I own and use, it needed nothing so far. And I've been printing constantly with it with all sorts of different types of PLAs um, at the moment. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you think somebody is gonna enjoy any of this stuff, send them a link and uh, let me know. I'll be in the comments answering your questions. Till next time, see ya.